Hi, I'm Jim. I'm part of the ME group at Milwaukee Valve here in uh, R&D lab for manufacturing engineering and putting together a panel for one of our new, new upgrades for our Speedway machine. This process, I laid out a panel, I'm wiring it. Um, eventually when I've done it, it will look similar to this one here. Uh, this goes on an assembly machine out in the plant that we are upgrading. And this machine is a linear transfer machine that moves the part on a pallet from one station to the next. As components are added, they're assembled. After the end of the assembly process, it continues on down the machine and goes through a testing process. During the testing process, we test the seat and the shell to check that the valve is good and makes no leaks. Um, the machine is designed here, built here. Uh, a lot of our uh, mechanical uh, hardware for this is uh, machined on the outside, brought into the plant, and we assemble it and then add it to the machine as we take old stuff off. Um, we have also created and built from scratch a similar machine uh, to the one that you'll see down the line. But this is kind of the layout of the machine. Uh, these are the panels. This is the particular panel I'm building that, that you've seen earlier. Um, this is the process. The subassembly takes place on these two benches. Um, the gland gets tightened here. The operator adds the handle, goes through here, gets the handle attached, Loctite applied, tailpiece torqued. Then we're going to open the valve prior to going into the tester. At this point, it goes through the test to the tester. This point here checks to make sure there's a valve there. Runs three valves in. Uh, goes through the testing process of the three valves. Sorts them out, good or bad. Here, if they're good, they continue on. If they're bad, they they come out here. It goes around to the other side. Um, once again, checking for the presence of the valve. Here, we're loading six valves at a time to increase the speed because of the longer cycle time of the larger valves. Um, once again, once it's, the test is complete, they come through, they're either opened or closed, um, depending on if they're good. If they're good, they're open. If they're closed, they're bad. They're rejected, ejected here where they are boxed and sent out to the warehouse, or off to the warehouse, I should say. The pallet continues on and around. Um, the process repeats itself over and over again. We also do other things in the lab here. This will be possibly a loading of a wedge into a machining center to machine and finish the wedge. We'll be either gripping it or picking it up with a vacuum and inserting it into the machine. Um, and then as it machines it, it comes back around and the robot here will pick it back out of the machine and set it on an exit conveyor where it can go out and be checked and put into a basket later on and go to assembly. So that's the kind of stuff that goes on in here. I'm Jim with Milwaukee Valve and this is what we do in our machine development lab.